participating from Harris, Galveston, and Montgomery counties. Yeah, you can enjoy specially priced multi-course meal menus with proceeds benefiting the food bank. How awesome this. is that? One of the participating restaurants is Lucille's, and here with some of their southern specialties is Chef Christopher Williams. And I was just telling him in the break, this southern girl is so happy to see this good old southern cuisine. Thank Give you. us the backstory for those that don't know. I mean, Lucille's is an institution, but if somebody doesn't know, give us the backstory. Yeah, so Lucille's, uh, I named it after my great-grandmother, who was a pioneer and a trendsetter. She came up with the first instant hot roll mix in the country, which um, led to like different iterations, like her chili biscuits and all that stuff. And she had a client list of everybody from LBJ to Martin Luther King, Joe Louis, Muhammad Ali. Oh. They, they used her recipes on American Airlines for first class passengers. and. The list goes on. So. And that's, I mean, for, for your grandmother, for someone of this time, she really was a pioneer in many ways yeah. because she was an educator. She was also an entrepreneur. Exactly. I mean, the fact that she had, you know, the prowess to do this, I think that's pretty remarkable. Yeah, and then, you know, most importantly, she was a chef. You know, she was creating things that, you know, one of her recipes, she had guacamole, which she had spelled out phonetically because it was so new to the people that were buying her kind of products. So she was trying new things, pushing the envelope. I mean, just the I'm celebrity list yeah. that you listed alone. I mean, from LBJ to what you said, Muhammad Ali. I mean, just incredible. And did Martin Luther King really eat at one of her restaurants? No, so her, her, she didn't have a restaurant. She had a catering company slash, slash general store. And so she sent her product, the yeast roll mix and the chili biscuits out across the nation, nationwide. So she was so famous about it, people would come to her or they would have, they would invite her out to prepare her meals and all that stuff. So, that's so you learned she, a lot from grandma. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> a lot from her legacy, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's talk about, we gotta talk about Lucille's food. Mm -hmm. um, I, you're, I'm so happy because I'm seeing all kinds of just Southern deliciousness. So let's start over here with the salad. So this is one of my favorite things. This is offered on our lunch menu and dinner as well for uh, restaurant weeks. This is roasted butternut squash. It's completely vegan. It's uh, of course the squash and then we top it off with a homemade soy yogurt, uh, salsa verde, which is like a cilantro puree with a little bit of white vinegar. Because when you think Southern food, you don't normally think vegan. No. I kind of like that you did a twist to make it accessible for well, everyone. You know, just like wow. she did, we try to keep it relevant and modernize it and, you know, bring it into the now. There is a ton of flavor in that. Thank you. That is delicious. Mm. I love the microgreens, too. All right, so this may be vegan. The other things you brought today are not. So tell us, tell us what you have here. <laughs> so this is another uh, dish featured on the Houston Restaurant Week's lunch menu. This is... Uh, our miso quail over serrano cheddar grits with collard green kimchi. So we make everything in house. This kim the, the, the quail is brined in sorghum and miso paste. Um, and then the kimchi, like I said, it's just collard greens and we do the traditional kimchi method, which takes seven days for it to ferment. Okay, I love that fusion that you have going on there. A traditional yeah. southern, the collards, traditional southern staple right. combined with that Asian influence. That's yeah. a really unique, unique combination. I mean, that's the whole pr point of the restaurant is we try to take our experience uh, and put, take southern ingredients and manipulate it with global influences and flavors. And Chris, Very before cool. you opened the restaurant back in 2012, congratulations, by the way, Thank on you. your five-year anniversary you're Thank celebrating, you, uh, you traveled the world going yeah. to culinary school. So, yeah. so you're taking your own expertise and coupling that with your grandmother's teachings, right? Right. Yeah, that and just uh, just trying to stay true to, to her and to myself. So we're in the South. We want to stay local. So we use things, you know, what defines any kind of cook, a Northern cook, a Southern cook, an Asian cook, whatever. It's about the ingredients that are available, readily available to you before, you know, the world opened up and you can get What's up here? Mm. By the way, that's really good. The grits have Thank some you. kick in there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Serrano cheddar. So this is another one of my favorites. This is the roasted bone marrow topped off with the oxtail marmalade, a gremolata, and candied orange pill. This one, um, it's over the top. <laughs> It's decadent. It's yeah, a decadent it, it, dish. Like you said backstage before the show, you told me this will give you a heart heart attack. Yeah, we should. You said you should sign a waiver before you eat that okay. one. But it's uh, this is part of our dinner menu for restaurant weeks. And this last one here is a new favorite. We just added this specifically for restaurant weeks. This is Hop and John. So Hop and oh, John is a yes. traditional Southern dish, and what we've done is reinvented it kind of by deconstructing it. Hop and John traditionally is just black eyed oh, peas good. mixed with peppers and rice. Mm. Here we do Carolina gold rice fresh okra, grape tomatoes, um, cane vinegar with uh, sous vide pork belly. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, okra is so good. 
Chris, thank you so much for stopping Thanks by. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Delicious. we know you're super busy uh, yeah. with, of course, the Houston Restaurant Weeks going on because you have until September 4th to participate in the Houston Restaurant Weeks. Now, if you want to sink your teeth into some tasty Southern cuisine at Lucille's, you can visit them in the Museum District, district and you should definitely go. This is fantastic. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. Thanks for a quick bite of lunch. Hey, still ahead, the high-tech Texan Michael Garfield joins us with must-have back to 